all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so today is going to be valentine's day edition i've never done this type of reading before um it's just going to be any messages that need to come through but the piles are based on kind of the status so the first pile here pile one is if you're in a relationship or if there's someone specific on your mind that you've been dealing with pile two is for those of you who are single or for those of you who want to look into you know what's coming up for you in terms of being single when it comes to valentine's day and kind of the week moving forward um so that's how we're going to do this before i begin if you guys are interested i do have personal love readings information is down below i also have life love and career readings and what do you need to know right now so you can check all of that out on the website um, these cards here the twin flame messages that I'm going to be using in the reading I do have available and then this is the newest item for awakened one okay so gorgeous 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 I'm gonna let this I'm gonna leave this here so you guys can see it but it's so beautiful it sounds just gorgeous as well so nice so this is a heart chakra singing bowl um, so this is available as well on the website stunning okay um all right so i'm just gonna leave that there let's take a look so let's start off with pile number one okay so for those of you who are in a relationship or loosely involved with someone or there's someone specific on your mind let's see what valentine's day messages we have for you okay keep in mind these can be very general so it may be specific messages from your person or it may just be messages about love in general that you need to know okay so take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. So let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we have envy starting off. We have received. We have cycles. Nine of pentacles. We have justice. Queen of Pentacles, I pulled a lot of cards for these ones. Hopefully we can fit them all. Wow, we have Justice twice. Okay. Libra, heavy Libra energy. So many songs remind me of you. And we have, I want to come back home to you, you're where I belong. Okay, interesting. So with the fact that the Envy card is coming out right off the bat, there's some sort of jealousy going on in this connection between you and this person that you have on your mind. Um, and what's really interesting too is like, you know, this is a Valentine's Day read, but look, we have no cups coming through at all. We've got no lovey-dovey sort of energy coming through here. So there maybe there's some emotional distance between you and this person, whether you're in a relationship, married, or maybe it's just loosely connected. It's like there's not a whole lot of emotional um, connection right now between the two of you. And I think that's because we've got this jealousy going on, this envy going on. So I don't know if this is your person or you, but there's someone coming through here who's really um, feeling a lot of envy at this time okay maybe this is some sort of cycle that you and this person are needing to go through or needing to break out of this could be some sort of a karmic cycle that needs to clear especially with the justice card the fact that when we get two cards in a reading this is always an amplification of the message right so it's always like okay this message is extra important i feel like during valentine's day um there's going to be something that has been hidden or something that has been an issue between the, you and this person, like something that hasn't been fair is going to be balanced out. So there may be an apology. Um, now, if you said something to your person, if you've been trying to get a message across to your person and like being like, come on, I just want you to understand my side of things. I feel like this Valentine's Day, they're going to start to see your side of things. They're going to start to... Um, see where you're coming from, understand where you are coming from or where you are coming from. It's really interesting though, because for those of you, it's like we have this card here, I wanna come back home to you. You're where I belong. This person wants to remind you of how <clears throat> important you are to them. They may have a hard time expressing themselves or expressing their emotional side. So they may do it through like physical things. So they may give you gifts. Um, 
they may want to like cook for you or they may want to do things for you um, because I feel like this person sees you as someone who's very independent and they want to give you a break from that. They want to make sure that, you know, you know that you're also taken care of, okay? For those of you who are kind of living with this person, I'm getting that they want to do something nice like to the home, like they want to help fix up the home or clean the home or just make sure that things are good. Um, you know, if you're not living with this person or if you're loosely involved with this person, I feel like they want to come over or they want to come towards you. Okay, some of them may, may um, try to do something romantic when it comes to music here as well. So this could be telepathically, like some of you guys actually could be receiving like music or messages telepathically from this person or some of you it's like if you are it together in a relationship, um, they're going to be like sending you their favorite songs or they're going to play those romantic songs and pretend like they didn't just turn it on, right? So it's like there's a lot of, I do feel like there is a lot of romantic gestures coming through for Valentine's Day for a lot of you guys, but for those of you who are at a distance from your person, it may be kind of more subtle gestures. The main thing that I am getting is that whatever issues you guys had, for some of you there could have been financial issues as well, that's going to be balanced. Like, whatever was unfair, I feel like is going to be brought back to justice. Brought back into balance. I think a lot of it has to do with jealousy or envy. Okay. Um, now, keep in mind, this is a very general reading, so I know all of these messages aren't going to relate. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to pull whatever's coming through. So if something like really rings a bell, if you're listening, you're like, oh, that's my message and that's your message, right? But not everything, because I know that this is a very general read and I'm getting a lot of messages coming through because I did pull a lot of cards. Um, so just keep that in mind. Not, not everything. Now, I don't know why I keep getting something about money as well. So for, for a lot of you guys, this person may be gifting you with like money or very expensive gift. Like you may, I feel like you're going to get something in the form of monetary value as well. So this is someone who's like, yeah, I want to purchase them a really good gift or I want to get them something um, or I want to show them like that I care by like giving them something that is of a, a great value. Okay. For some of you who are loosely involved, they may they may say, yeah, I want to be in a relationship or I want to make this more commit committed. Okay. Well, I'm getting so many messages. I don't know when to stop, but I'm also hearing this as well. For those of you who are in a very committed relationship, and if you guys are flaunting this on Valentine's Day, there may be a lot of people that are envious, okay? So there may be a lot of people around you that are like, oh really <laughs> um so if that's the case don't worry about that like just try to shake off that energy but for some of you you may have this outside force or there may be someone outside of your connection that's been looking in that's actually kind of envious of what you have with this person okay so that's what i have a lot of random messages so i know not everything's going to resonate um but let's take a look at singles okay so for those of you who are single on valentine's day let's see what's coming through for you in love if you chose this crystal here let's see we have rest and rejuvenation we have union metamorphosis the four of pentacles the seven of cups the knight of swords oh three of pentacles fell as well I see myself having kids with you and I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes. Okay, wow guys, for singles, I'm getting a really good message here. Um, keep in mind these messages, like I'm gonna interpret these based on the actual layout of the reading because obviously this is a singles read, so these are messages, but I'll explain to you how these relate, okay? Um, so for a lot of you singles, maybe you've been single for quite a while, okay? You have nothing to worry about today on Valentine's Day if you're single because I'm getting that you have this opportunity to give to yourself. With the Rest and Rejuvenate card, you're being guided to just focus on yourself, take a break, give this time to you, um, meditate, relax, do whatever it is that you need to do because right now it's almost like you're preserving your energy and you're focusing on growth, okay? A lot of you are holding back from 
maybe reaching out to people or you're holding back from maybe dating in general because you're going through this process of growth. And this is all working to your benefit, guys, because right around the corner is some sort of a union here. And not only that, I feel like you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a lot of options. So it's not gonna be one person coming in. You're actually gonna get a lot of good options where you're gonna get to decide who it is that you want to choose, okay? Because we got the Seven of Cups, we got the Three of Pentacles. Um, now, for some of you, you may already have lots of people around you. So even though you're single, you may have a lot of options. I'm seeing even more options coming in. For those of you who don't have any options right now, trust me, there will be options coming in. So sit pretty because you don't really have to worry here. There's a lot of energy coming through. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication um, either on Valentine's Day or just after that. Because again, this is kind of time is very fluid when it comes to tarot readings. Um, and this is a singles read, but I see that there's going to be someone here that you're going to be communicating a lot with. Like things are going to move pretty quickly with this person. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be someone that's a little bit younger than you, but I still feel like there's a maturity there. The reason why I say this is because this is going to be someone who is able to take responsibility for when they do something wrong. I just looked up and it was 11-11. So it could be a soulmate. Um, but this is going to be someone who isn't going to blame you when things go wrong. They're someone who's mature. They can take responsibility. This is someone that wants to have children as well. So they're at a point in their life where they want to have kids. They want to have a family. Um, they want to settle down. For some of you, this may be someone who already actually has kids, okay, that comes into your life. But I feel like all of this energy that you've been preserving by holding back and by focusing on yourself is actually paying off because you've been doing a lot of change, a lot of growth. If you notice the moon here in the back see that and then we also have the moon in the back of this card which is the union card okay and notice how the moon is getting closer and closer so for a lot of you you've been facing kind of your shadow side you've been dealing with some of these deeper subconscious um fears and the closer that you get to your own healing the closer that you get to union so if you guys have been feeling a major transformation going on within yourself if you guys have been feeling that you've been actually changing as a person on an internal level that just goes to show you how close this union is coming for you okay um the person that you you are going to end up choosing i feel here is someone who may have a lot of options but i feel like they just want you like this is someone who just wants to choose you it's not going to be someone who's going to be confusing it's not going to be someone who's going to be you know keeping their options open like they're going to be very sure that you're who they want even though i feel like they're going to have a lot of options i feel like this is someone who gets a lot of attention or may have a lot of options but at the end of the day they want to choose you you're also someone who gets a lot of options as well okay the person that you're that you're going to end up with here singles um because i'm definitely strongly getting that there's someone here that you're probably going to end up being with who's going to be very mature it's like this person has also been taking their time to rest so this is someone who when you meet them they may say to you yeah like i i you know i've been healing for about a year or um i haven't dated anyone in a while because i feel like this is someone who's actually been preparing for the next step preparing for something better so it's almost like you guys don't know each other yet or maybe you do know this person but both of you are doing your own like kind of healing and taking a break individually and then when you come together it's like you're ready for something you're ready for something mature you're ready for something committed and i see you guys either blending families or ended up ending up like having kids with this person or building some sort of stability with this person okay so that's what i have for you guys um singles read all right but i'm really really hoping that this was helpful and hopefully you guys enjoyed something a little bit different if you're interested in booking your own personal reading my information is down below in the description box but i'm sending you absolute love and light and i wish you all the best on your journeys take care